Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm back from a relatively long hiatus, you know, school related stuff like that and you know, it's over. Yay. Also, it's official. Warlocks, as of 1pm today, Warlocks have won Guardian Games. It's not, it, it was rigged, I mean, it was a uh, very, very, uh, a hard fight and we definitely won. It was totally fair in every way. Uh, it was, it was totally fair. But today, I am going to go over a short guide of very last-minute prep items that you can do for uh, a little little prep uh, preparation things for next season that comes tomorrow. So given that there are only a few hours left in the season, you're going to want to do what is relatively easy to do. Um, if you uh, don't necessarily feel like grinding huge amounts of bounties, then that's all right. But uh, that, I think, is the easiest thing for me to start with. Uh, I've, of course, done a few on my Warlock already. I haven't done all of them. I haven't done the optimal ones. You don't really need to. Actually, if you want to do the optimal things, go over to um, uh, DestinyRecipes.com. It looks like Cade's Ramen. <laughs> it looks like the Cade's Ramen like, insignia. And it'll give you a tracker as to what bounties you you can do on what characters, uh, which ones give how much XP, 12,000, 6,000, 3,000. Uh, these, these give uh, 6,000, the normal bounties. Anything that says XP plus is, is uh, 6,000. XP basic, like no no plus, is 3,000. And anything that says plus plus is 12,000. I also, just a thing about Guardian Games bounties, I don't know if these are getting removed after uh, today. I'm not sure if they get removed by by uh tuesday then that's unfortunate and i'll lose some of these so uh it's up to you whether or not you want to take that chance um i'm i'm going to because i don't really care <laughs> and uh also i would recommend having at least one slot open so that if quests drop day one you can grab them immediately uh before you clear all of your uh, bounties out and stuff uh, then again these for instance these three will be gone so the medallion case uh, the shoot score and the other thing if you played guardian games if you haven't played guardian games yet um the smg is pretty good in my opinion i would recommend grabbing that before uh tuesday as well they're super easy to grind for and i recommend a roll to the effect of this something like threat detector and one for all or uh, uh stats for all one for all or one of the one of the damage perks there are several this smg is actually really solid for easy bounties uh, i also recommend given that it's the last day you can just run a set of vanguard bounties if you wanted to maximize your rewards uh, as in like you're getting uh lots of vanguard stuff uh lots of laurels and it's really easy i would recommend going into either the guardian games recreational playlist for right now or the uh competitive playlist if you can run uh something like arbalist to deal with barriers and ignore unstoppables or something like that um stasis allows you to pretty much ignore champions sometimes uh, so you can play around with that um or if you don't want to deal with all the uh, the champions or you don't want the extra um gold empowerment and stuff you can just go into the normal vanguard ops playlist that's pretty easy to do and uh today it's void cinch he heavyweight so you can destroy things with royal entries <laughs> also there are a few uh things that i think you should pick up from this season namely uh if you have time at all to farm a few uh umbral engrams get a get a crack at getting one of these funnel webs if you can they drop from the world loot pool so it's easiest just to decrypt the engrams at rahul you can do that now by the way if you haven't played this season if you get an umbral engram just take it over to rahul and you can break it open um i really like subsistence this is my first subsistence funnel web but i've gotten thousands of kills on a weapon like this subsistence gives you like a fourth of the mag pack per kill and then get either frenzy or adrenaline junkie in my opinion um here's the role that i had a huge amount of kills on before and still use all the time um it's 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 good even if you don't have subsistence also on another note uh today is the last day uh that you'll be able to get a palindrome before they pull it back out of the vault they are vaulting uh palindrome which is probably the ve the best void hand cannon in the game if not the best hand cannon in the game this is in a slightly older one without a perk but you can still get this role without a uh origin trait but you can still get this role, Killing Wind, Rangefinder with Ricochet. Um, I really, really like this hand cannon. I have hundreds of kills on it, uh, lots of flawless cards. Um, and this is a much newer one that I got, which which is Overflow and One for All. So you get a damage perk for PvE. 
and uh, overflow allows you to have 20 in the mag if you have just even a basic mag with this it would be 26 if you have extended so if you have time to uh you don't even need to do uh, a grandmaster to get a, a palindrome but you do need to get do a grandmaster to get an adept palindrome there are uh Lots of guides on online for that. So the next thing I want to mention is that uh, tomorrow we'll also uh, we'll also get a um, new subclass. So we don't know if it's going to be uh, Arc or Solar. Uh, my bets are on Solar, but I could be very wrong. Who knows? And so if Solar is getting um, upgraded, make sure to get some exotics for uh, that build. So we do not actually know which. Uh, Subclass 3.0 is coming out next. Uh, of course, the this season it was Void, and Void is incredibly powerful. Um, my guess is, is that it's actually Solar next season, but it could be Arc. I don't know. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Solar. Uh, so if you have something that you want to uh, collect for that, make sure that you can get it because um, today is the last day um, before the next season. In fact, uh, today, actually, the la the Lost Sector is in Aphelion's Rest. It is Overload and Unstoppable with a Stasis Burn. Um, Overload, Unstoppable, um, Aphelion's, that was my Discord. Uh, so I recommend something to the effect of uh, you do Unstoppable Pulse Rifle. Um, if it's Stasis Burn, I recommend running a Palmyra B because you get that extra Stasis damage. It's like plus 25% on top of your Explosive Light buff um, and everything else if you run this weapon. You can also use uh, fun stuff like Deliverance for the extra Stasis damage and to freeze champions if you need to. Um, I would focus mainly on the Overloads being the scary part, but the Unstoppables can be annoying as well. So maybe you're running Solar. You could stun uh, Unstoppables using your melee, um, or you could stun Unstoppables using a double primary system. You could do uh, something like this, so Overload SMG and Unstoppable uh, Pulse Rifle. But uh, this one is dropping leg, leg armor. Luna Faction Boots uh, are not locked to Solar, but um, if Solar is the new weapon, um, Luna Factions do work with uh, Well of Radiance, so you may want to get that, as well as uh, other boots like... Uh, Path of the Burning Steps on Titan, uh, really, really good. Uh, gives you a solar damage buff just for kind of breathing <laughs> when it comes to playing as a solar Titan, and uh, it'll be even better next season. So there's stuff like that that you should definitely grab. Uh, but also as some uh, exotics, I think that you should uh, have keep in your uh, vault or something um, if you're doing cleaning. First of all, don't. They're adding 100 vault spaces for next season, which is really nice. So we have a total 600 now instead of five, so you can keep more stuff. But uh, I recommend keeping keeping a Dawn Chorus because it increases uh, super damage burn and also a buffs burn damage in general and the amount of time it takes. Um, it says you gain a small amount of melee energy each time you burn a target, your burns damage a target, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, I have a friend that really likes this exotic. Uh, also for Hunters, Celestial Nighthawk, um, who knows how much damage Celestial or a Golden Gun will do in uh, with Celestial in uh, Solar 3.0. As I said, I am going into this assuming it's Solar 3.0, so if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. If I'm not wrong, I'm not sorry. <laughs> um, but uh, Celestial has always been a really, really strong pick for Hunters um, since D1 even, I think. And so it uh, will likely be good in the future. And then also Verity's Brow is not locked to Solar. Uh, it is really easy to use on Solar uh, because it gives you um, grenade energy on uh, matching final blows. Well, you can run, you know, Solar SMGs, Solar auto rifles and stuff and every single kill gives you grenade energy for your next grenade and just to touch on it my personal favorite exotic um in like destiny history even though i haven't gotten to use it much recently has been sun bracers um it doesn't sound like it's an amazing uh perk at first but uh increases the duration of solar grenades okay that's fine uh but solar melee kills grant unlimited grenade energy for brief time you can f you can throw a total of five sun is the way i put it you throw five grenades solar grenades um solar grenades if you're wondering are the big uh big like almost nova bomb looking fire uh fireball and you can throw five of them which is really fun so uh it's really easy to combo currently with top tree dawn blade you uh get a melee kill you float up in the air and you start throwing grenades and you get your melee back to where you could do it again and there's no cooldown so it's really nice but um yeah 
make sure you uh, grab some of those exotics if you can, or if you have them in your vault, uh, keep them for next. It'll be a lot of fun. Also, I am at Banshee for a reason. Um, not only are his uh, bounties really good, which, by the way, the bounties actually, uh, given that the reputation progress is incredibly slow, I've already done more than one reset or I've, I've done a reset and it's really painful. Um, so in order to speed that up, by the way, to get the Ascended Alloy and the uh, Exotic Reset, do these bounties every day. I've done uh, several for prep for next season. So this is 350 Gunsmith Reputation, but sadly you can only, the Gunsmith re Reputation only comes from the non-repeatables. Uh, the repeatables only give XP, which I think is dumb, but that's just me. To go with uh, as well, this uh, Fugue, um, is actually a pretty solid roll. In fact, it's a god roll because um, if you put uh, extended mag on this thing for uh, extended mag and then you put on a backup mag, you get seven in the mag. And then fourth times the charm allows you to fire, I believe it's 11. Um, I think it's 11 shots without having to reload. So this is a really solid damage sniper um, that you can use for uh, next season and beyond. Um, I already grabbed mine and threw it in my vault because <laughs> uh, that's the kind of thing that I uh, like to keep for like raids and stuff. We don't know what the damage meta will be like, so it would be good to pick up. Oh, yeah. Also, also um, RGB shader. Get this shader. It's for 300 bright dust. It, it, it makes anything that glows um, RGB, which I'm a PC nerd. This is fun. I like it. It glows. It's fun. Also, just as a general reminder... Uh, make sure that any rewards that you would have at, say, Zavala or anyone um, you collect, because all of the engrams, all of the, like, enhancement prisms that you always leave there, like I do, uh, make sure that you collect those if you need them, because they will be wasted otherwise. Um, enhancement prisms, who cares? But the uh, engrams and stuff, I'd say, are worth the scrapping. Um, and uh, exotics, as I said, could you'd be really nice for uh you could get like sun bracers or something like i'm excited to use my sun bracers if you couldn't tell but uh make sure you don't forget those also uh the easy ones to forget in my opinion are the hawthorne and grams and uh maybe even drifter if you played some gambit this week i did a little bit unfortunately and then if you haven't and you like playing with transmog go over to 801 and do a few of the synth things or the transmog currency that I can't think of, the synth weaves or whatever. Um, I can't deposit anymore because I've got all of, all 15 in it. Just says max synth weave bolts, which I think is kind of dumb, but whatever. Um, you can do 10 of these bounties per season, and I think it's worth it. You um, actually uh, like the transmogs a lot, um, which I actually really do. Um, in fact, the helmet I'm using is a um base is actually a default helmet from one of the previous season seasonal um armors so i actually really like this um i like the uh transmog system a lot yeah if you've gotten this far uh, be sure to like and subscribe it really helps me out as i try to uh continue and uh tells me if you uh, like this video because i am coming back from a long time of not making videos it has been a while I don't necessarily know what I'm doing, nor if I n don't know if I sound right. So please be sure to tell me in the comments. <laughs> now, if you want to go farther with uh, preparation for next season and or you're a little insane like me, um, you can actually farm for these Paraversal Halls. Um, the only problem is, is that they changed how strange coins drop. You can only get them from Dares of Eternity. And by only get them, I mean you get one per run of Dares of Eternity. Now, Dares of Eternity is really rewarding, but do you want to run seven runs per package? And so there's the question. Is that really worth it? These right here are actually really good, in my opinion. Um, they can drop exotics, which uh, usually drop powerful, by the way. Um, legendary gear, so like uh, it'll be on light legendary gear. So um, say, since the power cap is increasing to 1570, um, I want my syncopation, you know, to is the lowest level I'm going to have, but say everything else I have is uh, 15, 15, 67 or so, um, you can get like a 1555 or 1565 drop from that because um, it'll be closer to your light level. It'll be on light with you. So uh, if you're 1565, you will get a 1565 drop. Um, and since it's in the Paraversal Hall, um, it will be just legendary gear, but you can keep it in your inventory um forever alternatively you could just pile them in your inventory and never like pull them and just never open them i guess uh so you could have like a a, a pool of legendaries forever i actually did um before this season um before witch queen came out i had like 30 or 40 of them in my inventory and there was a lot of loot 
in it. It was it was pretty cool, but uh, the I, I ran through all of them. Um, but that is an option. It is doable. Uh, another thing I do recommend doing, uh, definitely before the end of, end of this season, is uh, go through your your uh, seasonal challenges, your weekly challenge challenges, uh, until you get enough to do uh, to get your your completionist thing. Uh, the completionist thing is worth four thousand bright dust. If you're rolling in it, then I guess you don't need to worry about it. But sixty six challenges is a lot. So uh, all of these, for instance, all these patrol ones, um, like patrol on the moon, uh, EDZ patrol, uh, Cosmodrome, um, all of these. Uh, are actually really easy to do. Uh, so you can uh, run these individually for uh, a little bit of XP. You don't really need to care about XP at this point, um, but they drop a lot of they drop a lot of bright dust, and uh, the XP that is given can give you uh, bright ingrams. So you still have time to do these. Um, I would say it's worth it uh, because of the bright dust alone, mostly because I don't have bright dust and I don't like buying. Um, Stuff like the Solstice armor set, which costs six thousand bright dust, um, or the this this armor set cost me six thousand bright dust, and that was unfortunate to say the least. It would be um, better to have it beforehand, so you don't have to grind when you really want like that really cool looking armor set from whatever event. Also, if you want to uh, brave trials, uh, this one right here will give you a free. Uh, weapon i don't know what weapon this will give you but trials by firing squad you only have to win 20 rounds which really isn't that hard especially now that flawless pool is active and it is solo zone trials i think um so the capture zone trials yeah it says it right there capture zone um you get double crucible rank for it uh, you can solo queue in there and matchmaking is somewhat enabled so you can actually You'll actually not get stomped by a three stack of gilded one thousand times gilded flawless like we did uh, three days ago or so. We could run that too. Trials is incredibly rewarding, but it can be really pretty heartbreaking. So take that as you will and uh, use a passage of passage of mercy. So yeah, that's pretty much all I can think of um, that I can think of that's easy at least to do. I would uh, recommend if you're really wanting to get prepared uh, in, in a super short period of time, just do the bounty prep. Um, I showed just you, just a set of, of uh, daily bounties on every character. Um, if you do it on every character, given that I am, uh, according to Destiny Recipes, have about six uh, season pass levels banked right now, um, you could get probably about 18, uh, maybe 17. Uh, make sure when you activate them to use a uh, ghost shell that has the blinding light mod because it does actually give you 12% extra XP. And once you uh, go to Activate your bounties. Uh, make sure you're in a fire team with a friend. If you don't have friends, that's fine. Uh, but <laughs> make sure you're with uh, some friends, and you'll get uh, usually an early XP uh, bo boost. Yeah, so at uh, five percent, you gain percent extra fire team XP if you're as, as it says in, in a fire team. So uh, I do that, and then this one gives you an extra two percent. So that's four percent. You know, like right right off the bat, you can get extra XP. You might get all the way out to 19. I don't think that's going to happen. But, you know, um, when I came into uh, this season, I think I had 22 or 23 levels. And that was me going, like, at every single bounty that you could do, every weekly bounty for before season of the uh, before this season with Risen. Um, I had something like 23 or 24 levels uh, prepared. So day one, I think I was, like, rank 30 or 40. Uh, by the end of the week, I had my pass done. Not hard. Um, it just takes time. If you're if you want to put in the time, it'll help you. If you don't, so what? <laughs> Either way, if you own the premium pass, you're getting the exotic first day anyway. So that's kind of all that matters to me. I like the loot. Subscribe, and also I just learned that apparently the trailer for tomorrow's season is at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is 11 Eastern. Uh, tomorrow will be the trailer for Season of the Redacted. So uh, I look forward to seeing you guys uh, later. Um, I think I'll make some Lost Sector guides and stuff because uh, I'm back. I think I'm back. All right. See you.